So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen tuples in Python. The so next topic is sets in Python, right? Sets are also used to store multiple items in a single variable name. But how they, these are different from tuples and list? That also we'll be discussing in this video, right? What are sets? How you can use these things in your program? When to use sets over tuples and list, right? How this is different from list and tuples? and uh, basically you know different different methods in built function you can use on sets some operations like union intersection difference symmetric difference update many things are there like i hope you have uh, read sets in mathematics these are almost same so these things these all functions methods and everything we'll be discussing in this video with the help of program practically also i'll show you on my laptop right now see Sets are same used to store multiple items in a single variable name. So how you will, you can say define a set. Same uh, first thing, uh, you will take a name like I'm taking set one, right? And now in curly brackets, you will write down those multiple items, whatever you want to store. It may be integer, the item set item can be of any data type, integer, string, float, boolean, right? Or it can be mixed data type, right? Like in the same set, I'm storing first integer value, then I'm taking like a boolean value, then I'm taking string value, then I'm taking like maybe float value, something like this. So this is also possible. Or maybe if you are taking like 1, 2, 10, minus 10, 0, 53, the data, this is what? All the data, data, types, uh, data items are of integer type, all the data items may be of string type it's okay everything is allowed right but one thing duplicate items are not allowed in set it's like we cannot write down here again one because one and one these are duplicates once you will print this set if you print this set two then only one time one would be printed right so duplicate items are not allowed in set but in tuples and list duplicate items are allowed next thing the, these set items are unordered. They are not having any defined order like in tuples and list. Why I am saying this? If I have a set something like this, this is my set, set 2 and I am printing this set. So maybe you will get this answer. 2, 10, 0, minus 10, 53 and 1. It is not a guarantee that you will get the same sequence of the order uh, of these items or the same order. No, you can get this order. You can get items in this order. Maybe you will, if you will run this same thing, you will get this order like 1, 2, minus 10, 0, 53, 10, something like this, different order. So that is why I'm saying these items are unordered. They are not having any defined order, okay? But in tuples and list, items are ordered. And this is what I'm, these I'm telling you the difference. You can note down these things, right? Next thing, indexing is not allowed on set because set items are unordered. Indexing is what? Using index, you can access these items like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I write like set 2 and index is 2, so maybe you are thinking it will give you this 10. But no, indexing is not allowed. Why? So because these are unordered. They are not having any, they are not having any defined order. Maybe you print this time this 10 is at first index. This time this 10 is at, at last index. So that is why, that is why you cannot access set items using indexing because these are unordered. I hope now you know how, why indexing is not possible here, right? But in list and tuple, indexing is possible. Next thing is what? These set items are unchangeable, means you cannot change these items. Like if I want to change, suppose at index 2, this is, suppose I'm saying this is 10, I'm assuming this is 10, I want to store here 30. This is not allowed. Why so? Because using indexing, obviously subscripting is not possible here. This indexing is not possible. It, knows, it is not necessary that at second index we have 10, right? So these items cannot be changed, but you can change the complete set means you can add items after creating the set you can remove items for those we are having methods add and remove many methods that i'll show you practically right 
Next property is what? Okay, this I have already told you like this is also possible a set of having mixed air type items or you can say heterog heterogeneous elements are also allowed in set, right? Now and see if I write like in this set if I am writing here 1 then what do you think? There is any duplicate item? Yes, because here this is 1, this is true, 2 means in mathematics 2 means right? 1 only, 0 means false. So it will, while you will print this, it will either uh, show this one or this true only because this is also duplicate true and zero or we are having zero and false these are also duplicate values right now let me show you this thing practically and some methods also like add remove discard clear these methods also right okay so let's create a new project new file and we are discussing sets underscore python dot py right so let me just make a set and we are taking value something like this like 10, 56, 89, 90. One is taking like Jenny and we are taking true. Okay. Let's print this. Simply set 1. Okay. This is how you can print a set. So see first property I am telling you these items are unordered I have told you now let's run this and see see the order of the items first we got true but we have written true in the last true the 90 56 and 90 and Jenny right so the set items are unordered they are not having any defined order duplicates are not allowed if I write here again 10 if I write here 1 and again run this see you will get 10 one time only and you are getting true you are not getting one here this one and true duplicate 10 10 duplicate so one time only it will show duplicate items are not allowed indexing not allowed if i want to access like second item from set one and let's run this you will get an error like set object is not subscriptable Sub subscripting this is what subscript so this is not allowed here this will give a type error indexing is not allowed slicing is not not allowed here like in tuple and list right if you want to create an empty set like set 2 so what you will do generally like that's it maybe you are thinking this will be an empty set so let's if you want to check the type of this how you will check data type of this we have a type function type set 1 right and for set 2 also i'll be checking type right type set 2 fine so let's run this and see what output you are getting. See the for first you are getting set. Okay, the class is set for this one. But for second set, it is not a set. It is a dictionary. You have created a dictionary, empty dictionary. Because this is not allowed in set. If you want to create an empty set, then you have to use set function like this. There are two methods to define a set. With these curly bracket and with this method also set and in this bracket you can write down the values so two methods are there so to create an empty set you have to use this method only with curly braces in python you cannot create an empty set that would be a dictionary now let's run this again this time c both are set and set the type of set one and set two are set if you want to change a value here then you can't do like this let me just comment this out And uh, I want to change like in set 1 at second index, I want it should be 89. No, it should be 99 at second index. Let's run this. It will give an error because set object does not support item assignment. So you cannot change. These set items are unchangeable. But this complete set you can modify. We have some method. If you want to add a new value in the set. So how you can add we have a method let me just show you we have a method set just the name of the set set one we have dot add method so here you can simply print like 99 i want to add 99 to this and I, after that i want to print set one see now we you have 99 here right so like this you can add one item 
one item at a time, right? If you want to find out length of the set, then also we have a method. We have len method and bracket, you just pass the name of the set. Okay, after adding 99, let's see now the length would be 7. How is the 7? Maybe you are thinking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 items you are having, one item we have added, so it should be 10. But no, because these two are duplicates. So we are having only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items, right? And one we have added, 7, so it will give 7. So length you can find out like this, right? If you want to remove an item, simply rather than add, you can write down here, remove. And if you want to remove this one, like uh, 10 I want to remove. So see what you will get here, true, 90, Jenny, 56 and 89. Right? So maybe you are thinking 10 is 2 times, so 1 we have removed, so 1 should be 10. No, but duplicates are not allowed in set. It will take 10 only one time only, so and, and it has removed that 10, so this you are, you are getting, right? But the thing is, if you will not, if I am writing here like uh, 67, 68, but 68 is not there in the set, so what it will give? It will throw a key error, exception or you can say an error. Right, key error is 68 because 68 is not present here. Right, second thing we can use one more method discard. So, set one same dot, we have a method discard. If you want to discard here again 10, same it will remove the item from this. See, 10 is not there, but if in discard I am writing 68, so it will not give any exception. It will just print the original value of this set, right? This is how this discard is different from remove. If this key, this element is not present in the set, it will do nothing, right? It will not throw any error or any exception, right? If you want to clear all the element, you can have, you have a clear method, set one dot clear. Now we do not have anything, we have an empty set, right? We have a pop method also, pop will remove any random item from this set and it will return that item also, right? So let me just run this. So this time it has removed this true or one you can say, let's remove these duplicate items. And now let's run this, see, this time it has removed what? Any random item means uh, we have 90, 56, 89, 10. It has removed Jenny from the set, right? And it will return that item also, right? So you can, if you want to print, you can print also. Directly we can print that item. Whatever item this pop has removed. So let's run this again. See, this time it has removed true and this is the set. So pop will remove any random item from the list, right? And if nothing is left, like you have popped every item, like I have uh, uh, run this pop one, two, three, four, five, six times. And seventh time, if you run pop, then it will raise an exception, right? Because now set is empty, so pop cannot remove any item from the set. And see one more thing, while adding here, items like set one dot add because it will not return anything so we cannot print anything while we are writing this add so here we can add any immutable item that cannot be changed like tuples are immutable so if you want to add a complete tuple so in add we can write down something like this 13 comma 14 comma 15. This complete tuple I want to add in this set. So let's run this. See, 13 comma 14 comma 15. This is complete tuple. This has been added here, right? But if you want to add a list, because list are in these square brackets, what do you think? It will add the list here or not? No. Why so? Because list are Mutable, we can change the list, we can uh, change the data of the list, we can add remove, right? So this will give an error, see. 
type error and hashable type list because set use what data structure to store these item hash table right if you want to know more about hashing then you can watch out the video that i have discussed uh, in you will find in that data structure playlist so i'll put that link of that video in the side button you can check out how hashing works so it use hash table to store these items right so list is not allowed so any immutable data item you can add here like tuple then like string or int you can add or boolean item you can add float value you can add but you cannot add any immutable data item right so these are some methods here but we are left with now some operations on set like union intersection difference symmetric difference those will be discussing in next video so i hope you got basics of set in the next video the next part of this video we'll see operate uh, what operation you can perform on set so now in the next video till then bye bye take care